Hot 97, Megan Wright, DJ Enough. Yes. New at 2. Yes. Has, we got a guest. Cass, I'm not used to seeing you here. Well, get, you, get used to it. That's it. Get used to it. Actually, no, don't get used to it. Don't I just like being here. I'm just here because the slum guard is here. <laughs> new artist. Uh, he mastered song guy. What's going on? What's I appreciate going on? I appreciate it. Nothing much, you feel me? You know, you know real uh black fellows having um some nice Puerto Rican tilapia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh to DJ enough. He be cooking for everybody but me, but it's alright. It's e. alright. I'm it's not. Right. I'm gonna cook you some. I got you. Cause I'm a vegetarian. Well, I'm ha kind of a vegetarian, so I don't eat that. So he never cooks food for me. You can so. Eat the substitutes. You feel me? Just whip up some nice substitutes. Yeah. Yeah. Make me I got you. I got Maybe you. Something. Eat the rice and beans. No, I'm just kidding. Them tomorrow. Gross. Tomorrow. I hate substitutes. Some tofu, like them fake chicken. I know. I know. I've, I've actually never tried it. People keep telling me to try it. Like gross, the, what brother, is it like the, the tofu chicken? chicken <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah. like yeah. that. He said, nasty. No. He nasty. said gross, brother. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yo, he vegetarian too. This man gross. <laughs> You're vegetarian oh, too. Yo, vegetarian. That's what. Okay, so listen. I was, veg gross, I, was a veg is. I was a vegetarian for like 15 years, and then my doctor was like, "You got to eat something." Like, so I started eating fish, <laughs> but I'm always hungry. Like, I'm always. Eat, I always eat like mad no. junk food. And, Brother, and I've seen him go get yeah. a, a gyro or something, and there's no meat in this thing, and it's just like onions, peppers. Like, how do you have not one piece of meat? You got onions, peppers, um, greens, cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm like, nah, that should be, yo. Um, and my bad, but that was No, gross. you can curse on right now. We're, oh, it's, it's lit. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I was trying. It's recorded. I, I did good. I did good. <laughs> okay, so for anybody who's, who's, who's watching this and has, like, no clue, Right mm -hmm. about you. First of all, this is one of your hey, biggest fans. Yeah, right I here. am. I am. I am. Cash One is, is, is president of the I don't, of the, of the ski ma of the Hot 97 Ski Mask fan club. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember, I don't, I don't remember uh, how I found him, but I was like, "Yo, who is this kid? This yeah, kid yeah. is amazing." Shout out my mucus. Debbie Basla. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Where are you from? All right. Um, Everything. I need a breakdown. My name is Ski Master Slump God. I am from Florida, Broward County. If you don't know where that is, it's a little, t it's not really that little, I ain't gonna lie. Um, basically the same county where Kodak's from, mm -hmm. yeah. if you want to think about it. Um, really, truly, I spent a lot of my life in Florida, New York, and Georgia, Atlanta. And then, I don't know, like, my dad used to force me to write. Like, like yeah, like, not even homework. He would just be like, sit down, write these. I don't want to. No, sit down, write these. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, I was like at least 12. So from there, it, I'm happy he did it now. It's just all. That's um, good. Basically, how I got to where I am now, a lot of experiences, struggles, brother. <laughs> a lot of tough experiences and struggles. I always love music, though. I love music more than I wanted to just sit and just appreciate. I wanted to actually do something. I like making music more than yeah. going out and doing shows and sh like a shit like that. I fucking hate performing. Oh, you do getting, really? Wow. Sweaty. I'm a great performer. Don't get me wrong, because when I get on that stage, it's like the energy of the like the supporters is like it's not gonna like. It just gives me another like I just black out and then I just yeah because he has a mm. certain character that yeah. is incredible I, you mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't get that yeah. from you I yeah. wouldn't even think I you had trouble times <laughs> yeah and your performance level has to be That's lit I push myself so hard and then when I, when I get off that stage I'm literally like <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I'm about to pass out and die like because I push myself too hard I'm like all right yeah I gotta get off this yeah it's the it's the support is like energy it's all about energy you feel me I like I love giving like genuine energy I love getting back genuine energy and just feed off of it. So, yeah, from getting here, struggles, brother. You got to struggle. <laughs> you got to struggle to get somewhere or experience something. Like, I try to experience the most out of my life. Like, that's why I do a whole bunch of shit, drugs, drinking, all kinds of things like that. I was at Soy Clubs. But it's just experience to get um things to rap about. You can't just sit and not do nothing with your life and then just rap. It doesn't mm. make no sense. You feel me? I'm not trying to rap about bullshit. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just rapping about stuff I do. Yeah. So did you just start making music all of it? Because I... I all of a sudden, there's like an insurgence of of mm -hmm. of, of new artists, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we just Florida. yeah, we just he, from from the same area. So how does that happen? How are you guys <clears throat> all just coming out from the same? It was weird. We all seen each other come up, but it's like it's it's so weird that how it like actually ended up happening. But like there's a lot. Um, from what I say, from what I seen, it started from Raider Clan, a group called Raider Clan in Florida. Then it's like I'm at X in juvenile jail. We both was in juvenile jail, spending time. Then we just is like. 
Yeah, we need an outlet to just stop getting in trouble. All we like to do is hit licks and like do hood rat shit with our friends. So, <laughs> like, long story all short. All right. <laughs> <laughs> long story short, so it's just like, all right, we need to find something to do. So we was like in there just beating on the tables because all you can really do is sit there and stare at each other or work out. So we sitting there beating on um, the chairs and stuff and then we just like figured out each other could rap and then we just like helped each other like, uh, I got kicked out one night. He would come drive, like, take the bus far as fuck, or he would get kicked out one night. X would get kicked out one night, and I would take yeah. the bus far as fuck to be with him outside or some shit. We just like, X recorded my first song. He ordered um, the stuff off of eBay. It was like a snowball mic. It was like the cheapest mic you could get. It set on like three prongs or four prongs, one of those. And it was like just a basic um, audacity and like a laptop. So, but that's how we got distorted music. But the distort we actually started making the distortion like to the best of our advantage. So we use distortion in our music now, still. Uh, okay, so it sounded like that originally because of the mics, and yeah. then you decided to keep that's interesting. Yeah, so people be like, Oh, you need to clear it more. Now we wanted it to sound like that. People like the fans love it, like the supporters love it. So I don't know. But not all my songs I do that because you know, like there's some I have to defer out. Like a uh, artist, you have to hit, try to hit every genre. So I try to like then to get my clean songs. Like Catch Me Outside was just like a clean, like hear what I gotta say, it's like, and it's not rapping about some like hard story, I'm just rapping about stuff that be going on in my head, like. <laughs> how was it, we, yeah, we, was first of all, that's my favorite. That's yeah. one of my favorite. How, how was it shooting that video? Did you just go out into the city and just do? That was my first ever video, ever. Ever. With the Chucky doll? Is yeah, that the yeah, yeah. First video shot ever, <laughs> ever. So that was my first video, so I didn't know how to approach my first video ever. So I was like, damn, all right, let's, the littest, I wanted to be like, cause my um, old Buster Rhymes, old Missy Elliott videos, stuff like that, like those videos are like, crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, crazy so videos. that's the idea, that's the ideas I was trying to go with. Like uh, I show respect to old Wu-Tang Clan, um, old Buster Rhymes, old Missy Elliott's, ludicrous, old ludicrous and videos. The question everybody wants to know, did you get your hat back? Nah, really. Oh. Did you really lost oh. your hat oh. over? Oh. Really now, don't get me wrong, I went back and looked for it. <laughs> but somebody had to snatch it that fast, like it was sad. You know, that's, a, that's what I appreciate about you though, is that you, you, you kind of like, even with this, this new, there's always going to be a new wave of artists and a mm -hmm. new wave of, of, of people, you know, being creative and doing stuff. But it seems like you still do your research and you still appreciate um, who came before you. Oh, I have to. Um, why do you think a lot of people your age or that are coming out have such an issue with with what is older I mean, than them? Because I noticed right. y'all always tweet about not wanting to be old, I about don't. you got to die at 27. Yeah. Like, what's up with yeah, that? Why? Okay. You're not even saying you got to, you, you don't want to be in a wheelchair. You're saying 27. Like, I'm why? I'm not trying to get old. I'm not at all, bro. But why do you consider that right. old? And what's, the, what's right. the problem with that? I show my respect to the, um, the people before me because, I like, you have to. There wouldn't be no how you how to get stuff done. Like, everybody's going to have influences. doesn't mean you have to try to copy somebody. So that's why I find influences from a lot of different things. I listen to everything, like Eric Badu, mm -hmm. everything like that, like uh, Tori Amoy. So, like, I, I find the respect level. And then you guys been that age before where it's just like you just misunderstood by a certain age group. Ah. <laughs> that happens every, mm. that's everybody, everybody. always everybody. misunderstood. Yeah. Right. yeah, so it's like, all right, so my music, I have to apply to the ignorance and I have to apply to the, the genuine. So I have to be genuine and ignorant at the <laughs> same time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard, but it's, I, I, I do it well. I think I do it well. And let me ask you, a lot of, a lot of artists nowadays don't really care about like bars or, sig or significant. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, want to say bars, but like, I don't want to say bars. I mean like just the, like caring about what you're saying. Like, cause even sometimes when somebody first listens, somebody first listens to you, or to your music, they might be like, oh, this is just like everybody else's thing. Mm -hmm. But then you sit down and you're like, oh, wait a minute. Nah, he's just no, saying, no, he's saying something. something. No, he's right. just saying right. something. So like, why do you think, why do you care? Why do you care so much? Because you care, like if you listen to his to his, to his music, mm -hmm. you can tell that he cares. Mm -hmm. I don't respect that non-rapping, try, like trying to make it seem like his rap. But a certain, like, it's energy, you feel me? Like um, some people respect energy. Mm, just energy and they be saying nothing. I pop a Zan, mm, shit that ass. Mm. Mm. Like, I hate that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I hate that shit, but it's like, you have to apply to it. That's the ignorance part I was talking about. I don't like that. I can't just sit there and just be ignorant the whole time. I might have to make you say, whoa, what did he just say? So I mm -hmm. like, and then like, getting my flow down, it was hard. Cause it's like, yeah, it's hard to like find something that nobody else is doing. But then again, it's easy. Cause all you gotta do is just be you. Cause nobody else can really exactly be you. 
So mm -hmm. I just try to bring my personality right upon my rap. So it, I think I just did it well. Like that's just me, whole me. Mm -hmm. That's all me. I'm goofy. I'm like, I'm just like that. Like catch me outside. That's all. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's basically just me. Do you ever get worried that the drugs might catch up to you, or that the way younger Hell people? Hell yeah. But no, yeah. I don't get worried. But do you think you could be able to do what you do without? Hell yeah, I can. Definitely. He's but, balancing it. Look, he's drinking right. a lot of water. Well, he's drinking water because <laughs> you made him drink the water. I'm glad you made him drink the water. <laughs> See, that's the ignorance. See, I, I, I eat salads. <laughs> but then I drink some Hennessy. No, seriously, because you're, so, you're, you're such a talented, and a talented, dope, can, young person. And, you know, you see these horror stories of how, you like, know, yeah. drugs get to people. And then you've got kids that are younger than you that are looking at what you do and try to emulate what you do. Do you ever worry about that? I do worry about other people trying to feel like, oh, since they like um, have an influence by me, that they think that they need to be doing the same things to get to the level of like uh, success. But you really don't, for why what I would say is because I do what I do because you want to fool me. That's what I like doing. You feel me? That's how I be an artist. You have to let somebody be an artist themselves. You have to let them grow. Mm -hmm. You have to let them learn things for themselves. And then drugs, at my point, like um, the only way I don't, and you're not really supposed to judge people. The only way I don't judge somebody that do drugs is if they can mentally handle themselves. I feel like if you mentally can't handle it, please just don't do it. That doesn't make any sense. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like all the, everything that I do, I can mentally handle. Like, and it's hard, of course, life hard, but I can do it. It's not too hard. When you young, yeah. when you young, <laughs> I used to always be thinking I could do something. <laughs> just just be careful. Just be, yeah. just, just be careful. I got you. Because I see your future is so, is so That's bright. That's Auntie Megan and, right and, now. And, and I'm, I'm just Megan. saying, and I'm not even, I might be at the age where you were saying people, you got to die by 27, you know, but, but no, seriously, no, no. but seriously, like, just be but careful just, because. Just me personally, be I want to die at 27. No, 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 nah, you can't no, say no, that. no, no. <laughs> you're, you're just, just, just to sit and have this conversation with you though, like we see people and artists come through all the all here the all the time mm -hmm. and the younger they are they are the harder it is to have that conversation because they just don't seem to but yeah. you care and you and you get I it do and care, you but i just feel like because i never even really cared about money i'm not even gonna lie like just well, save your money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> save your, save number your one. money. Rule, Rule number, number one. one. Save your money. Save your money. Try to save your money. Yeah. I'm a At least a little bit. At least try. a little bit. I feel like yeah. I feel like it's not even for me. Really, it's for like my like kids or like right, right, people, you right. Know what I mean? But um, just being young is just like the thing of it. Like I don't want to be old, sitting looking sad and all grumpy. I'm gonna be grumpy as hell. I'm gonna be grumpy on purpose. And if I get old, I swear to God, I'm gonna be grumpy as hell too. I'm gonna be angry. <laughs> Are you going to stop rapping in a few years if you're worried about... Because it's going to happen. You can't so. stop You can't stop from getting old, so it's going to happen. I'm a little Wayne some shit. I feel like I'm going to just produce the hey. best work that I can, and then like I'm going to just sit back after a while and just start doing some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. like exploring. You're like, yeah, <laughs> fuck it. So music-wise, what's what's next for you? What's, what's, what's happening? Everything. Everything's next for me. Um, I feel like there's no stopping for me right now or anytime soon. Like, I'm going to just keep going. I keep, keep beginning. The thing for me right now is to just keep exploring and reaching my name to different people. That's my thing. Because I feel like um, my music so far and where I'm bringing it to is, like, like enough. Like I can't, But I could definitely get way better. But it's going to hit people's ears in a different way. So I just need to explore and expand. For right now. Well, when you got a show yeah. here... You gotta make sure you let us know. I you gotta come visit us. I wanna have yeah. a big show this is officially your big second show. home. Big show. Big show. This is officially your second home, High 97. So you gotta come hang out Definitely. with us. You gotta be like, yo, I'm, I'm outside. To, I'm coming saying. through. Catch me outside. I'm gonna call y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my music. Y'all gonna be like, all right, yeah. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs>